Where there's a hole, there is nothing. But where there is nothing, there is not automatically a hole. A hole is a defined nothing, a nothing surrounded by a something, a nothing with an edge. In the case of punching, this edge is made of metal, and the holes are large, small, round, square, elliptical, or refined by a thread. Punching is rhythm, network command, precise movement. The punch waits, the die lurks, the sensor gives its OK. With a dynamic jolt, the sheet metal slides itself into position. One hundredth of a second, complete standstill. And then... But the interesting thing about punching today is, taken literally, an absurdity. It is contradiction in itself. Namely, punching without a hole is advancing into the third dimension. Punching is... Melody. And beyond punching, there is forming. For example, extrusions, louvers, beading, all sculpted into shape. The tools rotating in flying change. When viewed in the light, the workpieces are precise sculptures made of sheet metal. Arranged reliefs, rhythmic grids, magical patterns. Punched, marked, folded, rolled, edged, embossed in one work step, so fast that the eye surrenders. They are small industrial works of art produced during a normal workday, which, after a short life of their own, are installed, mounted and treated in order to then pursue their actual fate in the anonymity of some kind of housing, for example. Punching is... Composition. Power. And feeling. Intelligence. And flexibility. Consciously hit 20 times in the blink of an eye. Coordinated, controlled, regulated exactly. Controlled by one all-knowing brain. Why can one trained in martial arts beat a much larger and much stronger opponent? Because it doesn't come down to brawn and muscle. Success depends on the ability to react quickly, be agile, have mastery over one's body, presence of mind, intuition. A repertoire of technical moves, being able to call upon fight sequences practiced for many years and thinking one step ahead. And naturally, the technique itself. Because it is not just about strength, but about how that strength is applied. And that's why better technique can often have a greater effect than bulging muscles. It is the interplay of many networked factors that, in the end, leads to success as is the case of punching machines for the third millennium. One machine that has learned a lot since the time when it only had to make holes. Punching is the future.